Hello Promising Traders, Alex here from PromisingTrader.com with your daily update on Bitcoin, US dollar. Merry Christmas, today is Christmas, it's the 25th of December and I'm here. It's half past seven in the morning in the UK and we are ready to see what Bitcoin is going to do. Um, okay, we have the monthly view for uh, our Bitcoin here on TradingView, Coinbase. And before I begin, this is only paper trading advice, never put your real money where I'm saying money may go, because in this channel, unlike many others, I will tell you only one possible scenario, the one that I believe being the most likely to occur, and therefore I don't want you to risk your money uh, unless you do paper trading. Paper trading, if you want to do or learn how to do it, just check the top right corner. There is a video in which I guide you through the process of setting up the free account of TradingView which you can get exactly for free by clicking either in the description or in the pinned comment and along with that I also squeeze because I will, I will make you use the free indicators which here you can see many more but the free indicators I will show you which one to use and I also squeeze a little slot for my candle scanner which is the one that tells you when a reversal pattern occurs which you can get for free as well, as well along with my trading strategies um, by clicking again there is another link both in the description and in the pinned comment let's begin so monthly view is still like yesterday bitcoin is still crossing over on mike d though so it's looking bearish to me on a long term but in a short term it looks like it's recovering from a, a, a drop however this drop will probably not stop and in the very short term will continue a little bit but probably we have found some kind of support and there is a chance before we do a complete loss over of the 55 EMA it's very very normal to happen usually that's what happens there will be a retest another uh, lower high compared to the previous highs and then it will drop and, and repeat on the 233 EMA if this has to happen. I'm not sure if there will be the real crossover here. Uh, every test I would definitely see it happening because as I said in the monthly view it's looking bearish so I wouldn't be surprised if it tests the 55 EMA in the monthly view as well. Meaning it may go below the current uh, value which is $4,373.91. Well, okay. Um, it may it may just drop below it and do a crossover which and do and, and do a, a retest which means we may touch again these lows here if not more okay but let me go to the daily and let's see how things have gone since yesterday okay okay first thing we see oh no well we had another attempt to break out the downtrend channel here but then the dark cloud brought things back into the downtrend channel now I'm pretty sure that this channel at a certain point will be broken again like something like this okay but yeah at the moment like I said yesterday we should expect Bitcoin to just make a new low and now we need to see whether this new low is lower than the previous two which I don't think is going to be the case or higher like it will stop in the area of the 65% retracement which corresponds to nearly $7,000 so 6,886 could be in this area here let's say 7,000 for simplicity and then there we will have another rally this rally in my opinion will probably manage to cross the 55 EMA and crash against the 233 or not however I would expect the price to drop and to rally again maybe to rally again up to seven thousand and seven hundred dollars or uh, even more now as i said i foresee a bigger correction of this downtrend so i would expect the price to go up if you remember in fact in here i said well this is nothing we will see a retest of the shooting star on the monthly view which if we go back corresponds to a possible again above ten thousand dollars okay this one was at twelve thousand three hundred so i would i would expect that to happen quite frankly i would expect it to be lower than this but why not why not an a b c happening hmm? 
why not? Uh, this is just speculation though, I, I have no proof, but what I will see in the immediate future, and now I'm in the six hours, is definitely Bitcoin to drop more than this, make a new, possibly higher low, and then rally again. If it does allow a higher low, the chances that this one will be broken are higher. If it doesn't make a higher low, well, definitely it failed. But this crossover here in the six hours of the 55 EMA makes me think that we may also aim to the 8,300, 400 ish. However, above the 233 for the first rally. But now we would probably see the price dropping in the area of the 65%. <clears throat> And everything in here cons confirms what I'm saying according to what I see. But again, this is not time to enter because if it needs to make a new low, well, we need to wait for the new low. And so far, even in the six hours, we don't have any confirmation of a new rally here. Actually, the, the crossover just occurred. And so, yes, I, I do truly expect the price to drop at least, at least here, at least to 7,000 ish. Okay. Now let's go to the three hours and in the three hours we can see that there was an attempt to break the 233 so there is really um, some strength from Bitcoin in an attempt to resume the uptrend and I do believe it would be stronger than this because many people will now see like Bitcoin has touched the bottom here and will go up so there will be more investors now ready to enter. In fact, in the three hours, we can see that it almost looks like in the indicators RSI and MACD, this could be the bottom and the rally could happen, which actually is a possibility. So the $7,000 we may never see. At the moment, we don't have any confirmation. However, yeah, it really looks strong in here. Obviously, it didn't manage to close too much, too much above the 233 MA but it's very close there was a, a crossover of the 55 ema here so yeah there is a chance that this low we won't even see we need to wait though somewhere for reversal confirmations which we really haven't seen yet even though by checking in the hour we can see already that there is a bullish divergence here the price is dropping the price is going flat in here there is a crossover so now everything depends on what Bitcoin will do but actually now that I'm looking intraday I tend to change my mind and think that maybe the price won't drop again to the 65% retracement and that maybe this is the bottom the 61.8 and we will have another rally here because here we have the support of the 233 MA which looks like it's being provided the crossover just occurred I don't know, it looks like there is a big chance for Bitcoin to make another rally from here rather than dropping. So, yep, I kind of changed my mind right now. So maybe this is the bottom. And so we may aim to at least uh, 7700, which is not bad. Let's see. It is, yeah, it's a 6%. I mean, it's not bad, a 6% profit, even because it will probably happen intraday. Well, do not pay Christmas. <laughs> Are really people going to trade? However, yeah, the bottom is here and we have support. Unfortunately, this one didn't work, but this one is support. And this may look already like some sort of um, hammer, in fact, you can see. Well, the system now counts this as a um, hanging man but because we need to tweak the options of the candle scanner so we need to tweak the sensitivity and it's difficult um, because it doesn't appear here so that the trend sensitivity is it checks the last five candles but if we extend it to maybe don't know 10 15 we will see something different in here obviously we can't see anything different if the price keeps dropping up so yeah but yeah, it looks like really that could be it. And this also concludes my video. Please let me know what you think about my video. If you like it, please don't forget to leave me a like. It's very important for me to have your support and share the video if you think it's worth it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And invite your people, your friends to subscribe as well. Thank you for watching. Again, I wish you the merriest Christmas ever and I will see you tomorrow with another update. Thanks, bye-bye.